Ben, from, from your point of view, being a musician, obviously you appreciate that because uh, you get your message across a lot in a, in a more stronger way, I'm sure. Well, I like it. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't mind both, but I'm, I'm playing solo now, so it's better if they're quiet. <laughs> and um, I know this album's been called a lot of things, um, yeah, you know, and uh, been critted um, in a lot of different ways. Um, you've called it um, a lot of things as well, but um, after having played the album for the, the better part of the last eight months, um, how does it feel now to you? Um, well, I, I still like playing the songs. It's, it's a job. You know, sometimes, you know, I get tired of, of, of playing them sometimes. Sometimes it's fun. It's just probably like your job sometimes, you know? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. But obviously, um, is it is it strange to you to, to sort of to think that, um, I mean, I, I think you've always known that you've enjoyed critical acclaim and you know, from all parts of the world, but when, you know, when you think about the fact that your records are, you know, are enjoyed by, you know, certainly a whole bunch of different cultures that I think when you started, you certainly didn't anticipate happening. Yeah, it really, it's, it's kind of hard to really get a grasp on, you know. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, it, it was a neat, it's a, you know, it's a neat thing, but yeah, I, it's kind of... <laughs> It's fun, you know, it's hard to understand, though, really. Sure, sure. I mean, I do understand it, but, I, you know, because I make the music, I'm in a different position, you know. Sure, sure. Do you enjoy it more now, in the sense that you, you know, that you have, that you are known and that, you know, that it's, you know, that you have got, uh, you, I mean, you've built up, you know, a, um, a respectable fan base, you know, over the album. So, you know, is it, is it, is it more enjoyable now for you, in a way? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, it's nice to play with some people that they know who you are and what, you know, what the music is about. Uh, you know, it just takes a while to do that. So, yeah, it's getting better and better all the time. Mm, mm, mm. Now, I mean, your, your music is, you know, obviously has a lot of um, different layers happening to it. And I mean, is it important to you, I mean, as much as when you're sitting and you're, you're performing live, that obviously people enjoy what uh, what you're doing, but is it as important to you for them to to perhaps get, you know, to delve a little deeper than the, you know, than the melody? Um, uh, well, I mean, it's fine if some people do, if some don't. Uh, when, when it's good because the melodies must be strong enough. But I, um, yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know. Talk to whoever, whoever's listening, you know. I just, um, I just like making it up, and yeah, it's, it's fine if they do. But usually they don't know what the songs are about, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, it means something completely different to them, you know, so, sure. which is nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure you, you've spoken to a lot of people who have interpreted the songs and you've probably been sitting there going, look, I would never have guessed that. No, it's fun, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fun to hear, hear what they think about them, or, you know. I was just kind of nod. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, you see, that's the fun part when you, when, when you become a, a commercial artist in the sense of releasing your music to the world. Um, you know, it's no longer it's no longer your your property. It becomes common property, and people um, have this annoying sort of uh, habit of picking it apart and uh, analyzing every aspect of it. When in many cases, perhaps it doesn't go to that level. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes they overanalyze it. You know. Mm. Mm. And for you now, what's the what, what part are you enjoying the most? I mean, are you... Are, are you uh, I'm working on a new record now, so... Uh, I'm kind of finishing writing songs for, for the next record and, and recording and that kind of thing, so... Uh, that's kind of what's going on in my world. Right. Is, is that quite difficult in a way to, you know, to be on the road? Did you find that to be quite a creative time to do it to... Uh, are you writing while you're touring, or are you sort of splitting your time? Uh, uh, it's, well, it's, well, no, 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 I'm, yeah, I'm writing on the road, too, so mm. uh, it's good, and, you know, it's, it's good and bad, you know. Sometimes I'd rather be on the Sure. Uh, but sometimes being on the road gives me time to finish lyrics or things like that. So. Mm. Mm. And when, I mean, when... Uh -huh. when
when you look at your body of work so far, I mean, obviously now with you working on a new record, are, are you are you as impressed by your growth as you are surprised? Um. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm just kind of looking at the new stuff I'm doing now, and going, "Wow, this is this is really good." You know, so it's quite a bit different from everything I've done before. You know, so um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I look at it and go, "No, oh, it's, it's good." You know, I'm proud of it. And then, you know, is it important to you that you know the music that you write challenges you as much as obviously entertains you? Yeah, yeah, definitely, especially uh, lyrically. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. And it, I mean, have, have you found that process easier? Do you think over time? Yeah, you, have, have I found it worse? Have you have you found it to be to become perhaps an easier process as you know as as each album has unfolded, or does it get more difficult? Mm, yeah. It's been getting easier, really. Yeah. Mm, mm. Yeah. And working with the kind of people, well, you know, the, the caliber of people that you, you know, that that you do work with. I mean, that must be fantastic as well um, as a musician to, you know, to work with, uh, you know, with good quality people. Yeah, that's that's a big a big part of it. And I'm, I'm, I've been lucky to be surrounded by people that are really good musicians, you know. Mm. Um, and they all have, have good input on the songs and can always play them well. So mm. it's been a big part of a big part of what I do. Mm. Not all just me. Mm-hmm. And I mean, with, when this album came out, did you have did, did you have any particular sort of um, hope for it? I mean, and as a as a musician, you can't be critical of your own work, but obviously each album you're very proud of. But uh, w- did you want this album to perhaps achieve something specific? Um... You know, I just wanted a lot of people to hear it, you know. That was it, you know. Mm. And more people did hear it. Not enough did, but, you know. Uh, Whose fault's that? Uh, I don't know. (laughs) You did. (laughs) So so World Domination's going to take a couple more albums, you think? Yeah, definitely. Is, Is that the plan? Oh, no. I mean, that's just, it, it's spreading, you know. Mm. That's it. I just, I just write the songs, you know, and play them and tour around. Mm. And until such time as you no longer obviously get a kick out of it. Exactly. Right. Mm, 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 mm. Well, I think um, you're on your way to a sound check, aren't you? Yeah, yeah I'm in the cab right now. Okay, great. Have you still got time or are you, are you almost there? Well, we're just about there. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll end it there. Um, Josh, thank you. I apologize again for the lateness of the call. All right, fine. And enjoy the rest of your, your tour, and uh, we look forward to the next album. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks, have a good evening.